Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dr. CyberLogic. This is Chris and I'm going to be going over today how to wire the new Corsair Hydro X um, custom loop system. I usually, I wasn't going to do this because when it comes to wire management, you can never please anybody and some people get a little aggressive in the comment section when it comes to wire management, but since I had a request from one of my subscribers, I'm going to do it anyway. So for this, you should have one of these power wires that came with your power supply. You're going to be needing this one to connect to the, to give power to the pump. So a lot of these, um, a lot of the different parts, the GPU, CPU block, uh, reservoir, they all connect daisy chain together. So you start the um, CPU block only has an inlet, so then it goes to the, so they're all going to connect together in a daisy chain, all the way to the Corsair Commander Pro in lighting. So let's get started with this. Alright, now when doing wire management, it's so much wires, it's hard to do anything. At least for me, I've never been good at wire management, but let's see what we could do here. So, like I said, this is the power from the pump. You're gonna, you would have received one of these with your power supply. So, you're just gonna plug this in to here to give power to your pump. And now your pump has power. Now, this is the cable for my LEDs from the CPU block. So I am going to daisy chain that to this inlet port from the um, GPU block. So that just connects like so. So th all of these can be daisy chained together. So here's the outlet from the CPU, uh, GPU port, which will plug into the outlet. Too many wires which will plug into the outlet from the pump, which is right here. Try to keep the end as clean as possible. And no. Right here. And then that plugs into each other. So that's, now I have the CPU daisy chained with the GPU and then the GPU daisy chained with the, um, the reservoir. And then from the radiator, it's going to go into, directly into the LED port on the Commander Pro. So this is gonna go right here. I have my light connected to port two. All right. Now for the fans, this one's two. I have fans, the, my front fans, one through three. This is my rear fan, so that's gonna be connected to port four. And then I have my RGB hub for the LED lights coming into the Lighting Pro from the fans. And that's that. Now, the temperature sensor on the uh, reservoir to te test temperature for the water or liquid is going to go into the uh, temp port here.
And then I have my other temperature sensors that came with the Commander Pro, which you can put into the other ports. Now in order for this pump to function properly, you're going to have to put it into uh, fan slot 6. So make sure it's in number 6. And then make sure your LEDs for the pump is in fan in a LED slot 1. So those two have to be like that or the pump is not going to push, it's not going to pump and then the LEDs won't work properly if it's not in slot 1. Alright. When installing the Commander Pro, you have two plugs. One goes into the USB port on the motherboard, right there, and then the other one goes into the uh, SATA power plug. And those are the only two cables from the Commander Pro to the motherboard. Now this is the final finale of the wiring. I have, with these two hard drives, I have a lot of SATA power cables and it's hard to get it perfect. So I have a bunch of wires on the bottom in the, the shroud underneath, which looks kind of messy. Wire management has never been my strong point, so. But at least everything's plugged in, everything's working. All right, so that's it for setting up the wiring on the Hydro X Corsair water loop. Uh, custom wire loop. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video. Hit the like button. Share with your friends. This has been fun making this video. Next video is going to be on filling up the water loop and running the pump. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon.